Flores' is new lip gloss. Eight colors. Do you want to see the full swatches and try on? Then you need this video. This video, what I would do is I would talk about the packaging's formulation, pigmentation, etc. first, and insert the full clip of swatches as well as trying on the lip. At the end, I will also talk about my top three colors from this collection. Firstly, that's a star from the packaging. The packaging, it is in their collection like a pearl as well as the jade collection. So this time the whole packaging body itself is like a jade white color. Then the middle is like a rose matte metal material. The bottom of the lip gloss you actually see the frosted end. You can actually tell a little bit of the color itself. If I show you this full, you can see the color difference. The packaging, as florist, as usual, it is very nice, sleek, and is very good size, good to put in the handbag as well. Then let's talk about the formulation. It is very, very light, but it is not like liquid lipstick it's not watery it is still apply like light yogurt when you apply on the lip give you a wonderful reflection and it's very very lightweight you don't feel something gripped on your lip you don't feel something sticky as well you more feel like a lip care product for the pigmentations, the darker color has very good coverage. It covers my own lip color about over 95%. If you are really darker skin or darker lip color itself, I would recommend to, you know, still use the foundation to cover a little bit the edges of your own lip color. There are two slightly lighter color, which is more towards nude. Two of them have slightly lower pigmentation. It's not as strong as the darker color for the nude color uh, i would recommend that you need to have fairly light lip color itself if it's slightly darker or medium to darker color when you apply it you may feel it's like a lip gloss like see-through lip gloss you don't see too much the color actually reflecting on your lip and this lip gloss also lasts fairly long because it has a good amount of tint in there see it still remains the color stain on your lip. To remove the stain, you will need to use something like this to pat a little bit longer time on your lip and then you can remove the entire color. And once you let it set a little while on your lip, it has a little bit come off, but doesn't impact the color at all. It is very comfortable to wear. It doesn't sink into your lines. Fairly even spread out on my lip. There aren't any patches. And also, it doesn't emphasize your lip lines. As To be honest, when it's a glossy finish, it shouldn't emphasize your lip lines. It is very, very pretty. Very, very good formulation. Uh, from my own perspective, I do find the formulation, it is similar as the Flower Nose Lip Gloss as well. You guys probably see this video already. If you haven't, please do check out this link. This too has similarities. Similarities. At the end of this video, I will also find a couple of dupes that I discovered from this collection compared to the Flower Nose. So... I know you guys can't wait. Let's have a look at the full swatches of those eight colors as well as on my lip.
this new lip gloss I need to mention that there is a very light mild flora smell when you apply it once you finish that you don't actually smell that much and you, you don't actually taste anything which is good my top three colors are first one is g101 which is this one This color is pretty much like a no-brainer. It's a very bright red, bold blood, plus a little bit of brown color in there. This color you can use for four seasons. It's very energetic, very sunshine, very positive energy in this color. This has a good level of brown in there. If the brown is a little bit too much, it will bring this color become a little bit too dark orange or chocolatey which may change the whole feeling into a little bit more mature but this one has just a good tinted amount of brown there and made this bright red not too luminous and very much goes with most of the makeup colors as well so highly recommend g101 and if you like nude color, I would recommend 403, which is this one. It's like a nude beige coral color. This color you can wear as no makeup or makeup day. Daily use goes with most of the makeup. When you wear it, it smoothes out your lips so well, which gives you a little bit of plumping effect, but make you still look very soft, lady and make your lip very dewy and kissable if you are lighter skin tone and you prefer more pink based nude then you can use 401 so both of them are in the nude collection it just one is more pink undertone and one is more beige coral undertone so this is a 401 when you see this too if you are colored undertone, skin undertone, go for this. If you're slightly lighter skin tone and your own lip color is more towards pink, then you can go for this. Then the last one I would recommend is the one on my lip, which is a 502. Look how pretty it is. When you see these swatches, you may find 501 and 502 there are similarities there are but they are also different let me show you as well this is a 501 this is a 502 501 there are slightly more burgundy color in there 502 is more like dark berry color Personally, I just feel 501, it may challenge your skin tone a little bit more than the 502. I think 502 would suit more skin tone. And it's a very powerful color. It's like very glamour, suitable for different occasions, special events, special occasions, especially in a white or black dress. Carry the power, carry your style. Uh, with this color, you will definitely need to have a little bit of, you know, makeup on. Yeah, this one wouldn't really go with no makeup or makeup from that perspective. So, it's your choice. That, that's fine, the dupes from Flower Nose. As Flower Nose, the lip gloss, I don't have their full color collection, so I will only pick the dupes that... I actually own. First one is Florisus G401 versus Flower Nose J02. This is Flower Nose, this is Florisus. Two of them about 90% similar and when you swipe these two colors on the lip they look fairly identical. If you really want to tell the difference, it's like uh, Flower Nose has a slightly stronger pigmentation. Therefore, the color is seems like a little bit more 
smoky paddle in there and the uh, fluorescent one is slightly see-through in a way and you see the two reflections and the formulations are very very similar and you see both lip gloss or lip glands has tint underneath next set is from Floris's G403 versus Flower Nose J01 both are their nude colors without telling you guys which is which can you tell the difference? from the reflection from the colors pigmentation and the color itself okay now I can tell you this is fluorescent and this is flower nose this two like nude beige coral color are more identical compared to the other two which is more pink nude this two on my lip it pretty much identical exactly the same then the last set is from uh, Floresis, which is one of my favorite color, 101, versus Flower Nose J08. Two of them are not identical, but there are similarities, very close similarities, that put that way. This is Floresis, this is Flower Nose. If you look very closely, you will see the florist's one contains slightly more orange and blood red in there. The flower nose one, it has a little bit towards more watermelon red. Just remind you again, this is flower nose, this is florist's. Although there are a few dupes compared to the uh, flower nose, but personally I feel Floris's the color designs from those eight colors compared to the flower nose, especially compared to the four that I've owned, and to compare with how flower nose the colors collections they're showing on the website, they are personally feel they are slightly style difference flower nose would be more towards slightly younger energetic and more towards a cutie that type of personality and the style in there uh, florist's eight colors are more slightly how to say is more towards elegant energetic positive lady that type of style the colors design that's just a personal opinion okay from the formulations perspective, both one flower nose as well as the florist, they are very good. Uh, the only small things which happens on both brand is when this lip gloss star fades out, the edges does get a little bit lighter. If you have more patched lip color your own or the edges of your lip shapes are slightly different color compared to your own lip color you maybe need to use a lip pencil or something to even doubt your own lip color first before you applying the lip gloss especially for the lighter color but in comparison the lip gloss the lip glands this collection is fairly long lasting have a look at this color i've been sitting here for nearly an hour now and i have not stopped talking let's just zoom you in again you still see the beautiful reflections and the most importantly is no patchiness right so hope this video is somehow helpful to you if you tried this collections already please do leave your comments down below and let me know your favorite color if you haven't then also let me know based on my swatches and try on which one you want to buy the most Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next video.